I'm, I'm gonna tell you something. <laughs> Good afternoon, everyone. Happy Thursday. I can't even remember the day of the week. Uh, sorry it's a little windy right now, um, but here I am. It's Thursday. Um, sorry we didn't vlog this morning. Uh, we didn't really do anything. I woke up at like 10 a.m. and so did Elizabeth. She probably woke up a little earlier than I did, of course. Um, but yeah, now I'm headed to work. I just got back from a UPS access point and that, that was an experience and a half. So what happened was we had a, a package delivered to our apartment and uh, we weren't there. So what UPS will do is they'll send it to an access point. Now, I didn't understand what that was. So I didn't really read the little slip they left on our door very carefully. So I just went straight to the warehouse uh, at UPS and I thought that was okay. I went there, the lady said, uh, your package is at an access point. And I'm like, what? What access point? I didn't I just didn't get it so she's like just go to this address right here and she's like it's not an actual UPS store though it's like a computer store and I'm like uh okay so I thought that was kind of weird um, but anyway I went to the computer store got inside the guy was totally just occupied with other things he's on the phone talking to this guy he's laughing did not seem professional at all and I was like uh, I'm here for a package and all and he basically doesn't say anything. He's on the phone. He just points to the back door where that says employees only. And I'm like, okay. <laughs> so I walk into the room. There's a huge shelf on the left side with all the packages. It's like, oh, here you go. Find our packages. A bunch. It's actually a bunch of our, our Shutterfly photos that we're gonna send out as thank you cards. So that was nice. Um, but in the end, I got the package, went out, signed it off. It was a little bit weird because Elizabeth's name was on it, not mine. Um, but I did end up getting it. But anyway, the guy after that was like, you know, we'd appreciate some business from you. And this is like a computer technology store. And he's like, well, you know, we're having a hard time here. <laughs> so like after I get my package, he le I stayed there and he's like, yeah, we fix iPhone 6s and all that good stuff. And I'm just sitting there so awkward, like, okay, sounds good. It's a little sketchy here, but okay. Um, so that was my experience at the UPS access point. I don't know if I want to do that again. So. Uh, I think I might do like the UPS My Choice thing where you're you're able to kind of control where uh, or when your package arrives so I can be at home at that time because that was an awkward experience. <laughs> Anywho, I'm headed to work now. And yeah, I am going to almost be late here so I'm just walking. I'm booking it. I am booking it. If it's windy, I'm sorry again. <sighs> got a few post assessments, got a bod pod and then tonight I'm going back to the mission. Uh, the dental clinic down there so I'll be back Got hey everybody I am back now uh, I just got out of the apartment and I'm in my car getting ready to go to the gospel mission um, but in the meantime I'll be actually headed over to drop off dinner for my baby I made her a nice salad and made her a bunch of toppings to she can put it in herself so I'll be dropping that off uh, so she doesn't go hungry uh, and then I'll be headed to the gospel mission um, I unfortunately couldn't find my scrubs I'm wearing a t-shirt and the pants that Elizabeth absolutely hates. But I mean, if they're gonna be used for one purpose, I think uh, a dental clinic would be the best, right? <laughs> All right, so I'll be headed out now, uh, dropping off the dinner. So I'll see you guys in a bit. All right, everyone, I am back home now. And guess what I am gonna do next? Watch the Olympics, yeah, buddy. Woo! Yeah, seriously, the NBC Sports app is the best thing ever and I think Elizabeth is right I am obsessed <laughs> uh, it's supposed to be like the 200 200 IM uh, tonight between Lochte and Phelps so ah I don't know who to cheer for now I guess Phelps still I'm a big fan of Phelps although Lochte second favorite okay so here we go turning on a live stuff here NBC coverage is that going on right now that should be yeah, there it is. All right, perfect. Here we go, primetime coverage. I literally just uh, clicked the uh, coverage, and first two athletes that come out of the gate as I turn it on are Ryan Lochte and Michael Phelps. <laughs> All right, oh, this is gonna be a fun race. I don't think I'll uh, record my, so my reactions this time. <laughs> I got a bit crazy last time. I just kidding, I'm recording myself. 
Uh, it's the freestyle now. <laughs> Why am I screaming? I shouldn't be screaming. Oh my gosh, okay. Phelps is like a one body length lead. I don't even have to cheer for this one. Holy moly. He is crushing the field. He's gonna win. Like, the 200 fly was more interesting. Man. Holy moly. Oh, Lochte didn't medal. That's too bad. Oh well. Woo! Phelps is a beast. He crushes it yet again. Four in a row. That's incredible. That is incredible. So, good job, Phelps. Go USA. Yeah! I just got back from work. Um, sorry, this is the first time you're seeing my face today. Um, but I had a really good day. I had a good day at work. And now I'm home and I just ate my little bowl of jailer. And we're gonna watch the um, Olympics gymnastics all around. All around? All, all around. Mm -hmm. um, and yeah, I am I was kinda watching a little bit of it at work. I have the TV on. But um, other than that, yeah, that's what we're gonna do. And then I'm all edit the blog. Anyway, what were you thankful for today? What am I thankful for today? Yeah. Uh, what made you happy? It was a good day. I got an interview for the yeah. medical scribe position. That was cool. Ah, I know, like literally the day after. Like I signed up last night at a, around signed 10. Up. Signed up. I applied around 10 p.m. And at 7 something in this morning, I get an email saying, hey, we want to interview you. I'm like, wow, that's fast. That's so cool. it's pretty cool. It'll be a couple positions maybe. I can either do family medicine or dermatology, which sounds cool. That sounds pretty cool. I can watch people pop. I can watch doctors popping pimples all day. Oh my. <laughs> Jealous. I wonder, whoever uh, is the medical scribe for Dr. Pimple Popper must love that job. <laughs> or must be super grossed out. Or like, why am I here? Check out her stuff. It's pretty cool. Dr. Pimple Popper. <gasps> if you ever just need something that looks so satisfying, that's mm -hmm. her. Yep. She's it. Yeah. So. Yeah. I'm grateful that today was Thursday. It was my last night shift this Yay. week. Yay. Um, this hair. Um, <laughs> You're thankful for this hair. My hair. All of my hair. Mm -hmm. Um, And that tomorrow I'm done at 4 instead of 10. Yay. And then we have then the, we have the weekend. weekend. And I get to sleep in and I'll finally get this house cleaned. I'm sure you've all been looking around our house thinking, God, why do they have so many boxes everywhere? Sorry. Well, let me tell you something. <laughs> I'm going to tell you something. <laughs> we had a wedding with 236 guests. A number that will haunt me forever. <laughs> and all of our lovely guests brought us lovely gifts and showered us with love and gifts and things mm -hmm. and um, they just take up a lot of room so um, finding places for everything to live and like deciding like what we have of duplicates and that kind of thing um, just kind of takes a lot and being able to get everything returned and all mm -hmm. that stuff so yeah um, we'll finally get that done this week and hopefully and get this house cleaned also there's yeah. this huge box in the middle of the way and I don't know if Andrew explained we bought new chairs for our table because our table or chairs were junky mm -hmm. you saw um, me making them yes and um, one, one of them came and it was broken so I called the place that we ordered them from and they were like oh we'll send out a new part um, and that was last Friday <laughs> and, it's and I haven't heard anything about it Thursday so it was like it's literally been a week and I haven't heard anything like we have the part we don't 
we're sending it to you, we're not. Mm -hmm. So like we have this big box of chair that's just taking up space, which yeah. is kind of annoying, but we'll get it figured out. We have the worst luck with furniture. Ah, uh, seriously. Our last chair and table set were kind of broken. We had to just deal with it. Also, they went, they didn't get delivered to the house. They got delivered, like. To Illinois. They, like, <laughs> it was in Minneapolis, and then all of a sudden it was, like, in Illinois. And we were, like, <laughs> so Andrew called and gave them a piece of his I mind. I gave them a piece of my mind. And they were, it was just bad furniture. And then our, we, like bought our couches mm -hmm. from like a furniture store and they came and one of them had a big like quarter size ding in it mm -hmm. like, so they had to on. take it away and have it fixed and then they brought it back can we stay here forever oh. i need a dishwasher right now the dishwasher is <laughs> yeah Basically. but we love you. Love you. Good night. If you like this video, hit the like button. Give us a thumbs up. If you want to leave a nice comment for us below, that'd be please helpful. do that. And if you want to see more content, hit that subscribe button. It's for free. It's for free. Yay. Um. Yeah. Yeah. Be sure to um, share our content mm -hmm. with others. Yeah. Um. We're really grateful for you um, watching today. And we'll see ya. And good night and tomorrow. Bye.